Okay, guys, I'm coming at you with an opening package of my queen's hair. I got a 28, 26, 24, and a 22, four bundle, more wavy from Queens off of AliExpress, store 313334. It was shipped to me via UPS. This is my second time buying with the store. My first purchase was in February. I believe I got a 16... 18 and a 22 for my birthday and I still actually have that hair but I had a little accident I was able to save some of the hair but not a lot of it but yeah so I'm just gonna show you how it came it came in this UPS bag and here is the information Okay, and you can actually see their logo and their store address on AliExpress. And I purchased this on September the 16th, 2012. And today is the 18th of September. Um, I decided to use UPS because um, it shipped three to five business days. So I paid a little extra for UPS. DHL was um, $24 and that was 5 to 10 business days. UPS was 32 to $34 I believe. And this is the invoice. Okay, so you can actually see their information and you can see what it says. It says wig sample. Four piece wig sample is actually not a wig sample. It's this WEF tracking. And it also says that it was $60, and it actually wasn't. I actually paid uh, $219 for four bundles, which is pretty cool. And I'm just going to show you the bundles, and I'm going to put on my flash on my phone so you can actually see. So, these are the four bundles. Four bundles I have. And now I'm going to show you the weft construction. So you can actually see beards and it's actually pretty neat if you're looking. Get closer. It's actually pretty neat web construction. Just like it was last time. The only difference between this time and last time is that the hair does not smell which is good. I believe they washed it this time. I guess they were getting so many complaints because that hair was so horrendous. Like, even at the hair still smells now, but I figured out a cool trick to actually um, get the smell out. And you can't really see any beers, which is awesome. And this is what how it comes. It says Queen's is that love? I'm blind. Love hair. 100% original virgin. So that's the sticker. I'm going to show you the ends. Okay. It's the hair. And I'm just going to sit this down really quick so I can show you everything I brought. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But I brought Fray Check to seal my webs. This was two something at Walmart. Fray Check. I didn't buy, buy a lot because you don't really need a lot if you use a lot. Your wefts are going to be hard to sew already, so you don't need that much. And if you use a lot, your wefts are going to be white. So we don't need that. And like, once again, that's Fray Check. And there's videos on YouTube, my bad, to show you how to sew your wefts. And if you ever receive stank hair from AliExpress, you can soak your weave in fabric softener. Fabric softener. There's also a video 
on that. This was $3 from Walmart. And once again, these are the wefts. And, and I also bought color. I want to dye my hair red. I'm going to show you some sample colors. This right here is a subtle red. I left the top dark. This right here is a subtle red. This is my old AliExpress hair. This hair I bought in February. Let me move this hair out the way so you can actually see what I'm talking about. This hair right here is my old hair I bought from AliExpress. Still in good condition. Um, I ripped it off my U-Part wig. And if you see this part right here, I actually had a boo-boo. I put my hair, <laughs> tried to roll the study and put it in the microwave, and it actually burnt. So anyway, another story. Um, I actually ombre my hair from my birthday. It was actually a subtle ombre. And that's why the red is so bright on the bottom. So I'm thinking about doing that. And I'm going to let you see the other strip where I just did a 40 developer on my old. Where is that strip? Man, I lost it. I actually did a strip of red on a 40 develop hair. And that was really red. I don't know if I can walk around like that. Because I don't want to look like Boot the Clown or nothing. Oh, here it is. So here is the other red, and it is really bright. It's not all that bright, but you got to be a certain type of girl to pull that off. It's really pretty. And what I did was I lifted it with a 40 developer, and that's how that came out. As you can see, um, that's how it looks. That brown part is how the developer looks before I added the bleach. And I just wanted to leave that on there so you can actually see the color it comes out. Okay. So, this is the hair. Once again, I am going to do something with it tonight. And I'll make another video and put that up. Thanks for watching.